Okay, promise this is my last miniature makeup video because I'm pretty sure you're all a bit fed up with it by now. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, I'm Stella, and I'm like obsessed with making miniatures for my Barbie stall house using mostly cardstock. This video is the third installment in my little dollhouse makeup series, and as always, I'll have free printables and templates for you to download, and they'll be linked in the video, so now, let's get started. I wanted to begin with some nail products because, well, I love manicures. To make a tiny nail file and nail buffer kit, start by cutting this part three times. As usual, I suggest using cardstock from old packaging for this, since it's basically free given that we usually have plenty of it in, well, our trash bin. Paint one of the layers white and the other two parts in a contrasting color. And I suggest you apply the paint with a sponge to get this nice grainy texture. Once the paint has dried, assemble the nail file this way. To make a nail buffer, cut the same part as before, but this time we're gonna need 5 layers. Set one aside for a second and glue the remaining 4 in two groups. Paint the single layer white and the two thicker parts in a contrasting color. Needless to say, I chose pink. Finally, assemble the three parts like this. And we can add a teeny tiny cuticle pusher to this manicure kit by simply taking a toothpick, shaving and sanding it until it's around a millimeter in diameter. And then cutting it at an angle so that it's about 2 centimeters long. To make a miniature nail polish, we have two choices. An easy one and one that's a bit more work but way more fun to play with afterwards. Let's start with the easy option. Cut this part into black paper. I used a piece of regular white copy paper painted with a black marker. Roll the little strip against a pair of scissors to curl it. Then glue it around a toothpick this way. Trim the toothpick and paint its top with a black marker. Now cut this strip into copy paper. Curl it a little and then wrap it around the previous part like this. Trim to thick in excess. Then cut this little circle and glue it to the bottom of the little nail polish bottle. Paint the bottle with acrylic gesso first to even out its surface. Then with acrylic paint. When the paint has dried, coat the entire piece with clear nail polish to make it look shiny. Now print and cut this tiny label and glue it to the little nail polish bottle this way. As always, I used my selfie printer, but you can use any color printer and if you don't have photo paper available, you can achieve that glossy finish by covering the paper with a piece of clear tape. To make the second type of nail polish, we're gonna need a couple of paper clips in two different sizes. Take the bigger paper clip and open it a little this way. Then cut this small rectangle, roll it against a pair of scissors and carefully glue it into a tiny tube around the paper clip. Just make sure not to glue it to the clip itself. Now cut this strip and roll it around the previous piece, aligned at the base. Lastly, cut this tiny circle and glue it to the bottom of the bottle. And just a reminder, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine, you can use my digital templates, which you can find in my shop, linked in the description box. Just as we did earlier, paint the little nail polish bottle with acrylic gesso first and then acrylic paint. And finally, coat it with clear nail polish. Attach the label to the bottle. Then cut this strip into black paper and glue it around the smaller paper clip, this way. Next, cut this part and glue it around the previous one, aligned at the top. You should end up with this. Paint the little cap and the paper clip with black nail polish. Alternatively, you can color the paper clip with a black marker and coat the whole piece with clear nail polish. Trim the paper clip so that the entire piece is approximately 1 cm long. Then paint the tip of the paper clip with the same color you chose for the bottle. And finally, coat it with a touch of clear nail polish. 
And while making these tiny nail polishes, it dawned on me that maybe some dolls bite their nails. So I got the idea to make a few boxes of press-on nails for them. Simply print and cut this part, then glue a little piece of clear plastic over the cutout window. Pull the sides and glue the tabs to create a tiny box. Then print and cut this part and use a small dotting tool or an old ballpoint pen to emboss the nails. I suggest placing the printed card against the light source and marking the nails placement on the back of the paper, so you'll know where to emboss. Oh, and I've included a few different design options for the nails, so you can choose your favorites. Next up, I wanted to make a little set of makeup brushes. These are super easy to craft and all you need is a bunch of paper clips or eye pins. I prefer to work with eye pins because they're made of a softer material that's easier to cut and shape. Paint the pin with nail polish, leaving out a small portion on one end. Trim it so that the unpainted end is just 3 or 4 millimeters long, then flatten the tip with pliers. And finally, color the flattened part with acrylic paints. And you can play around with how you flatten and cut the tip of each pin to make different types of brushes. You can also use some white glue or UV resin to make a round brush. And you can make different sizes by using more or less resin. Oh, and as a reference, I made my brushes 2.5 cm long. Now that we have all these miniature makeup and makeup tools, we definitely need a cute miniature makeup organizer, don't wait to make one. Start by cutting this part 2 or 3 times and stack all the layers together until you get to a final piece that's about 1 1.5 mm in thickness. And we're gonna have to make 2 of these. Next, cut this part a few times and attach all the layers in 2 groups, both roughly a millimeter in thickness. At this point, we should have these four elements. We can either color them with acrylic gesso or acrylic paints, or we can simply cover them with some white copy paper, which is what I ultimately decided to do. Once all the parts are ready, we can assemble them in this order. Cover the back of the piece with this part, cut into lightweight cardstock or copy paper. To make a little drawer, cut this part into cardstock and cover it with copy paper like this. Then cut this part two or three times and stack the layers together to get to a final piece that's around 1mm in thickness. Cover it with copy paper. Then repeat the same process for this part, which we'll have to make twice. At this point, we should have these four elements ready. Let's assemble them this way. To make the front side of the drawer, cut this part a couple of times, attach the two sides together and cover the finished piece with copy paper. To make a tiny handle, I used a crimp bead, flattened with pliers. I'll have this linked in the description along with all the other supplies I used for this project, because they're so darn cute. <laughs> Glue the front side to the rest of the drawer, this way. To make the top of our little makeup organizer, cut this part two or three times, stack all the layers together to get to a thickness of just over a millimeter, and cover everything with copy paper. Repeat the same process for this part and for these two, which we'll have to make twice each. Assemble the resulting six elements in this order. Now cut this part into a piece of clear plastic. And as always, I suggest using old plastic packaging for this. And then cut this tiny strip into a piece of golden paper or plastic. I actually used some gift curling ribbon. Attach the golden strip to the plastic part this way. Then glue the resulting piece to the rest of the structure. I recommend using a multi-purpose glue. Now cut this part and attach it to this one. Then glue the resulting pieces to the sides of our little makeup organizer. 
Lastly, cut these two parts, glue them together, and attach the final piece to the front of the organizer. Glue the top of the makeup organizer to its base like this. And truth be told, I kind of hated these lines on the sides and back where the various elements of the organizer meet, so I ended up covering these sides with another layer of copy paper. And our miniature organizer is ready. We finally have a proper place to store all our tiny makeup. As promised, here's a link to the free printable template. And if you want to make more miniature makeup for your dolls, you may want to watch this video next. And this is all for today's video. Until next time, bye!